Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for June 10th to uh, June 16th, 2019. And uh, bear with me for a couple of seconds, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump straight away into the spread. All right, so the first card which uh, marks the topic for uh, Aries week, that is to be uh, the King of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that Aries needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is to be the Ten Swords. Mm. The third card which stands for the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> And then the last card that stands for the uh, guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Aries, this is to be the Two of Cups. So uh, we do have the uh, King of Pentacles, which stands for the topic, followed by the Ten of Swords. This is the challenges that you need to overcome afterwards. That is to be the um, Knight of Pentacles, which stands for the positive aspect. And afterwards, we do have the Two of Cups. <clears throat> All right, so um, Aries, uh, the week uh, will be uh, consumed, if I may express myself that way, or dedicated to a, a person, <clears throat> which uh, kind of like steps in uh, for you or steps out uh, for you. Person that is ready to offer you a lot, but as well, it demands a lot in return. And uh, I'm saying that because guys, it will depend how you're going to take, take on this exchange, if I may uh, classify it that way. Uh, will depend, you know, of this event, how you're going to make the exchange. Are you willing to do it or are you not willing to do it? Will define how productive or what the week is going to manifest for you in general. So uh, the topic itself, which is the King of uh, Pentacles, points that to the person that the week is going to be uh, most in influenced at or by, excuse me. So this is a um, a person with well-meaning, if I may express it that way, and as well, uh, somewhat sedated, in a sense of that they uh, have a specific goal, they have a specific purpose, and they do not deviate from this purpose. Now, this person is gonna show you their generosity, but like I said, this ain't the charity, okay? And they will require something in return from you. However, should you decide to make a cooperation with that person, they are usually in a very uh, high place in the ladder of the hierarchy, which is gonna form a good cooperation. And as well, <clears throat> you are to um, create for yourself a, a very, very valuable um, connection. The accompanied card that is to be the six of uh, wands here, the formation, it is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. <clears throat> So, uh, like I said, the person will require something in return. Therefore, uh, with the Six of uh, 
wants into this position. It seems that the week itself is going to be rather action deprived, but more like a reaching an agreement, reaching on a consensus and establishing the rules of the business deal, for example, or the rules of a future empathizement in case we're talking about relationships here. So it's more like a uh, exploring the possibilities, what you can achieve with, uh, with cooperating with that person. And is it really worth it, that is? Because like I said, it's not going to be a gift. And uh, with the six of ones here as well, um, how can I describe it? You may, um, you may want to not brag about a certain achievements of yours because the more uh, you brag about, you know, how, for example, capable you are or how much you deserve and this kind of stuff, the more you are pushing this person away. So uh, my point here is, is that you Aries has to be uh, a one idea more humble than, uh, than you usually are and just listen what that person has to say to you as an offer, as a proposition or as in an attempt of a, um, a devotion. So the next one, that is to be the challenges. And we talk about uh, the challenges as marked with the Ten of Swords. That is the um, fearsome price that you will have to pay. The way I see the card really is that, or the way how I see these uh, cards manifesting is that this person comes around, they offer you something, you find it very amusing, you know, probably a new job or a new way to earn money, or it could be just, you know, they <clears throat> offer you to start dating and these kind of stuff. But uh, this offer will require from you to abandon something or rather like to sacrifice a particular thing that you are uh, proceeding forward with right now because you cannot have the both things in the same time. Just for example, let's say that you are trying to date with a specific person and this one comes around which you also like, you know, and they ask you to go out on a date with them. So you will have to stop dating with the previous one and start dating with this one. Same could come around in regards to career and, and projects. You know, this one offers you a specific project, but you do have one to work on upon right now and you will have to decide which one you want to involve yourself in. Now, one thing is guaranteed here by these cards is that should you follow, you know, this person's King of Pentacles proposition, uh, you are going to be repaid uh, or compensated, if I may express it that way, accordingly to your performance. The accompanied card of the Ten of Swords here, that is to be the Moon card and uh, the formation it is in an active uh, neutrals that we do have and the Moon only adds in an additional um, uncertainty to the picture, uh, making you wonder, is this really something that will have a happy ending? So this is what the Moon here points. And you may have that uh, doubt that your sacrifice and uh, your... Um, yeah, it's a sacrifice, you know, and as well, the price that you are to pay may not justify the results at all because it will require, like I said, any some irrevocable decisions to be made and some irreversible actions as well, like leaving your job, like leaving a potential uh, suitor that you cannot get back afterwards. The Ten of Swords here points that as soon as you make the sacrifice, I, I, it's pretty much the deal is sealed and you can't get back into it to whatever was demanded to be sacrificed, you know, um, in a further stage of, uh, of your future. So uh, the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the Knights of Pentacles. And this is how you stand that. I, I don't believe that that is a person here that comes for you, Aries. So uh, the Knights of Pentacles, uh, first of all, tells us that you do have time. Just like I said at the start, this week is rather going to be action deprived and more like on the side of the deliberations and as well negotiations of how things are to proceed on forward with it. Now, the Knight of Pentacles here points that should you put enough determination and compassion behind your um, negotiations and as well behind the... Um, the actions you are anticipating to do afterwards, you know, after the negotiations are, are done, it's likely that you will start obtaining what you want. So uh, from another standpoint, uh, this reading, when you when you negotiate with that person and then wait, uh, and when they approach you, it's uh, very important that you answer to that question to yourself, you know, what I, what I really want and is this person capable to give me what I want? And uh, th this is where the, the reading could fork 
in the sense of that as some of you may decide that, you know, it's, it's just ain't worth it. Other may uh, find out that that is exactly what they needed, you know, a fresh wind into their environment. But the thing here with the Knights of Pentacles, guys, is that either way, whatever you decide is going to be the right decision. And uh, afterwards, you will start making progress, slow but steady progress toward a, the goal that you want. The accompanied card here, that is to be the Three of Cups. So the formation is a passive friends that we do have. And with the Three of Cups in either way, either when the negotiations are over and you start, you know, exerting skills, performance, or you date, you know, or you start working over the project, the results will follow soon after. And if you decide not to go by it, then... Um, Another results will follow soon after. It is just it points that you will give even bigger dedication to your current deeds. So uh, in either way, it's um, I don't know how to describe Aries, but in either way, it seems that the week is going to be productive. It just depends on personal preference and what you really need in that um, at that stage of your life to proceed on forward with it. Um, are you need something new that this person is gonna offer to you or you want to indulge even deeper to um, into your current endeavors? Now, the answer that you, are, will, that you will have to give to this uh, guy or a girl that is, or it could be as well a woman, it could be a bit different, uh, difficult to divulge knowing that uh, it's gonna be your final answer you know, knowing that it's going to be something like a life-changing thing, um, a changing of the game, of the rules of the game. And uh, it's advisable to take your time, really, just for the very reason that you have to define, uh, is this something that you want? Because the Knight of Pentacles, it is always, uh, if if uh, if it does um, put a um, characteristics on a person, in this case you, Knights of Pentacles always knows what they want. And that will be the positive aspect that you will find out or you will know what you want. And uh, when you find out or you are aware of it, you know, then uh, your path forward is going to be clear. So the next one is going to be the guidance here. And that is to be the two of cups. So guidance wise, this card advises you to take on the offer because the Two of Cups points to very fruitful cooperation, the very least, not to mention that it is the card of love, meaning that even if it is a business offer, uh, it could, uh, some emotional attachment could develop in between you two. But as a guidance, this card points that the cooperation is going to be very smooth and, and well flowing as well. There won't be much of a uh, issues in between you two, in between you and this person. And if there are some, there are going to be just trifles. So nothing for you to worry about. And the card itself points the true cooperation with one another. You are to create something very, very new, like a new business, like a baby, for example, you know, and these kind of stuff. The, um, the tower card here uh, appears as a uh, passive enemy to the uh, two of cups. And as a passive enemy, it actually points that there won't be any crisis or rather like you should not over exaggerate or overthink the matter here. But uh, <clears throat> like I said, when you find out that what you are most in tune at, you just make your decision and move along with it. But on the grand scheme of things, these couple of cards, Aries, are pointing that should you take on this uh, offer, then it seems that your life is going to be stabilized and there won't be any um moments or rather frames of time of a turmoil at least in the near future while you uh while you cooperate with that guy or a girl or a woman or a gentleman for the reason being that they do have resources and as you invest in them they will invest in you as well and there won't be anything that you cannot face and cannot overcome with uh, their help so that being said, there is this was your uh, weekly tarot reading, um, June sixth to um, June tenth, excuse me, to June sixteenth, two thousand and nineteen. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.